It's YouTube Wednesday! So, important to note, everything here was purchased from uh, Dollar Tree. So, this, is, this build um, is not going to be terribly expensive. Go through the building process and we'll see what, what happens and what comes out. I have an idea in my mind, but I'm not going for anything super specific. Thought these would make a great head by doing this. And now I have a mouth, I have a you know a head shape, and I'm gonna zip tie them together. Yeah, I think I want them open, you know, so that way I can just have a bowl in the back. These two are touching, so it's open up front. now have, uh, look at this happy head shape that I got. Uh, could you make a monster plant out of this? Yes. Uh, could you do other things out of just this very shape? Absolutely. But we are making a monster robot bear. Showing you this stuff for you to make this exactly. I'm showing you a design process. I'm showing you the execution of a concept so that you can apply this, these executions and these concepts to stuff that you do down the road or right now. Okay, so these plastic bowls are 10 times better for that changing the shape of the head. We're gonna use these. The holes that I'm putting in are temporary just so I can mark this structure in order to uh, attach. Alright, so now those are marked. And I will drill all of my holes and then zip tie on. Okay, now I'm going to mount eyes, I believe. And I'm going to start by drilling a good sized hole on each one. Then I can do my cutting, probably with just scissors. I'm putting the cup in, I cut it small, and now I'm going to mark where I want it to be bigger. This is where I want it to be. So that's going to fit in there a little bit, but leave me a little bit of an eye socket kind of deal. Polycarbonate doesn't like to be drilled. So I'm actually going to uh, just hot glue that eye socket in. And I'm just hot gluing these guys in place. When you paint the hot glue, it's going to look like a weld, so don't worry about it being sloppy or not. This, would, this looks like a basketball now. If I had cut it in half this way, I would have a lot more visually interesting pattern. So I'm gonna grab the other ball and cut it in half the other way, because I screwed up. Good thing it was a dollar. Now that is more robotic and more visually interesting than this, which looks like a basketball. 
or an orange. They're, 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 I'm putting them on there for looks, and I don't want to ruin the look by putting a big old zip tie on it. Already we have a semblance of a critter here that is coming together. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and glue my eyes in just so that they're in place. Uh, now these are uh, plastic baseballs, so they have this stripe on them, this, you know, the, the mock stitching. But I'm just gonna use a clear part and I'll leave this stitching off to the sides. I'm not too worried about it. I wanted to only use things from Dollar Tree for this build, but uh, I'm going off the reservation a little bit because these are excess pieces of EVA foam from a Harbor Freight floor mat. Uh, when you buy a pack of them and you use them for projects, you have a ton of these. Even if you use them for flooring, you have a ton of these guys left over. I'm also going to use it to uh, make this edge thicker so that I can secure the teeth. And I think I like this look. So I'm just going to glue it on like that. So add a little bit of uh, depth to this also and make this look like it's a thicker bolt than it actually is or a thicker piece of metal than it actually is. Okay, I decided to cut off those two in the middle so that it didn't interfere with what was happening up here for me. Uh, I'm now going to cut him a cute little nose out of uh, the same EDA foam. I have just these little pieces and I'm just cutting it. There we go, now he has a little nose. I think I want more happening inside of the mouth, so I'm going to use this plastic bat that I got and I'm going to make artificial pistons that look like uh, they're going to be inside of here, just holding his mouth open and or closed. So that's going to be nice as far as that goes, but I have to angle cut this side to get it to fit in with the bowl better. Because the bowl does one of those. So I have to do that. See how that's going to fit up against the edge of the bowl when I remove this piece. All right, now I can cut these out and then get them ready to glue in. And I'll probably zip tie these. This cutoff is a happy accident, so I'm going to use it on something else. What's great about the stepper bit is it allows me to drill different sized holes, you know, in different spots. I don't have to go all the way in. I can just use a little bit of it. Uh, these stepper bits are really good when you're working with plastic. Okay, structurally, this is actually way more sound. This uh, really added a lot of stability to my, to my head top here. Um, one of the happy things that happened is that I got these cutoffs, which can make a little flat part here that I'll use to attach the ears. I think that's gonna uh, look nice.
this tooth is made out of this plastic spoon. So I think I'm going to use some of this silverware here and make some more of these teeth. So in cutting these, these silverware, I realized maybe this plastic will respond to heat. It's a polycarbonate. And I know you can heat form polycarbonate. So I'm going to do some tooth shaping with the scissors, but also with the heat gun. There we go. While it's warm, I can easily trim that. Okay, have all my teeth set and uh, it's about time for me to start putting them in. I also put some batteries in the package of lights that I got from Dollar Tree and I'll use those in a bit here too. Uh, before I put the teeth in, I want to get set up for that and I have a soldering iron. It's getting hot, but it's not as hot as it ought to be. Don't, don't test these with your hands, it's a terrible idea. I use my face. Hold it close to your face and you can feel if it's hot because I don't have a lot of feeling in my hands. Okay, so what I'm doing is I'm using the soldering iron to poke a hole in the back of the ball here uh, so that I can put one of these lights in there. I just uh, drilled and then melted a little hole through the back here to switch, stick the battery box out the back so I can turn off and turn on the lights easy. I can also pull this through and change out the batteries down the road. I have a couple litter scooper pieces and I'm going to use this also inside of the mouth just to add a little bit of detail and to add something that looks uh, a little mechanical back in there. kind of like a uh, back of the mouth type feel in there. A little bit of something more mechanical inside of there. More going on than just empty and hollow. Again, anything I want to do inside of the mouth, I want to do before I put in those teeth. Because that'll make it 80 times less fun. But this has to draw. While I'm waiting on the inside of the mouth to dry, I'm going to start working on his ears. Uh, and that is why I bought, for the first time in my life, uh, dollar store flip-flops. That's EVA foam. So if you want EVA foam and you only need a little bit, then uh, the dollar store is a fine place to get it. These are gonna be my ears. Uh, by putting that back on. See how that works right there? That's gonna be a real nice spot for the ear. Right there. And then I can do the other ear the exact opposite way. It's been 10 minutes since I added the glue onto these and now I believe that it's dry so I'm going to uh, attach these ears. I'm going to open it up, I'm going to set that corner in first, and then I will set everything else in place. That corner going in first is going to keep things from getting misaligned. Alright, ears are on, and as you can see, that's a pretty good bond. I love contact cement. 
If it doesn't bond like that when you put it on, it's not dry. You put it on wet, and it's not effective when it's put on wet. So to paint the inside of this, uh, I'm just going to dry brush some metallics uh, over what I've already done here uh, in order to give the, have there be a little bit of life inside of it. Uh, and I have some metallic silver and some metallic copper. And that is where the inside of the mouth is right now. Have my hot glue gun. Also have some googly eyes. And I'm going to use these as rivets again. Also from Dollar Tree. Everything is from Dollar Tree. And this is a detail. You don't have to put on this detail. So those bottom ones are all on. I like the rivets. The rivets are going to look good. I have faith. Right now they look like googly eyes, but they will uh, be very rivety once we fix it. So now all of my teeth are in. I have one last thing that I want to add on this before uh, I call the build done. And that is that uh, I need to shutter these eyes a little bit so that they are scarier, frankly. Uh, and I'm going to use the handles of these scoopers. So I like that. And having that angled brow on there is going to be really helpful. So this is our robot bear without um, any paint on it. Uh, I'd say it's built. And I build it this way for speed. Uh, I want to um, have it all the way done and then I can paint it. Now I did paint the inside of the mouth because you can see there's no way I could get in there to paint that. So that's already done. But now I can paint the outside pretty quick also. Okay, this has to dry for a while and then I'll get to really paint it. Yeah. You get a chance. And I'm just using a dry brush on this to get this metallic on. And then um, I will go in with some details. That is all of the metallic base coat on. Now I'm going to put on some copper details. I 
I'm going to give it an oily look or a, a kind of a just a rusted run down look with some uh, translucent spray paint. You can use uh, Design Master. Some of their stuff is really nice. Uh, I happen to have movie paint here, which is a nicotine uh, spray paint. And it just makes it look like it's been run down and older. And I'm going to put on very translucent, but it adds like a yellowy, oily sheen that I like. Now I want to clean off the eyes. I want to clean off the eyes so that I can uh, see a little bit of that light that I bothered to put in there. So I am, okay, cleaning off the eyes and that is where we're at right now. Let me turn off the lights in here real quick and we'll see how the eyes look. Oh boy. Okay, so I need to clean off this eye a little better, that is telling me. Uh, that's no problem. I do like the lights inside of the mouth, just kind of giving his mouth a glow. He almost feels like a robot jack-o'-lantern. I'm gonna do a little bit more painting on this to uh, make it pop a little more. I'm gonna bring these rivets back up with a uh, with the chrome color. I'm gonna re-hit the teeth again with the chrome color because I want those things to really stand out. A little shading on that ear, make that a little more bear like, less like a radar dish. I am going to put one piece on here uh, to finish this off for me because of what I want this to be, um, and that is a birthday hat. So, this is my robot sketchy teddy bear head uh, that I made from uh, Dollar Tree. Uh, I added up the parts that I use, and uh, I use $13 worth of materials, not including spray paint, hot glue, um, and a couple little strips of EVA foam that were garbage to me anyway. Go make stuff!